In 2017, Grand Seiko released one of its most famous limited editions in the SBGJ227 Peacock, and it's now going for a highly inflated price secondhand. If you're still upset that you missed the SBGJ227 Peacock, well, Grand Seiko is giving you a second chance to get a new version of the Peacock with the US limited edition SBGJ261, which is now in a vivid blue dial and has an intricate pattern radiating from the center, resembling the vibrant plumage of a peacock's train. You may be wondering, why is Grand Seiko creating watches based on a peacock? Well, in Japanese culture, the peacock is a symbol of large and healthy families, great wealth, success, and general prosperity. So will the new peacock be the one for you to go pick up, or will you still be on the hunt for the original peacock? Let's find out. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you original and in-depth watch content at least once per week. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, and then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, I reviewed the Grand Seiko SBGK015, which has an extremely striking blue tone dial that evokes the water inside of Ryu Sendo Cave. This is a really striking piece, and just like today's, is sold out at this point. But you really need to have a look at this anyway, just to see how unique this one is. Wrist check time. Today I'm wearing my Seiko SRPH 42K Yak Wat Chang Thailand Limited Edition that I picked up while on my vacation to Thailand earlier in the summer. And since I visited nine different temples, this was absolutely the perfect watch to pick up since it represents the white demon giant that guards the Temple of the Dawn. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. The Grand Seiko SBGJ261 Peacock has a 39.8 millimeter case width, a 14.3 millimeter thickness, a 45.9 millimeter lug to lug, an 18.7 millimeter lug width, a 33.2 millimeter crystal diameter, and weighs in at 158.55 grams. The case is the 44GS case and is in stainless steel, which evokes the original 44GS Grand Seiko, which was released in 1967, but is now more refined. It has broad areas of Zeratsu polish on the lugs with a small area of matte finish at the inner edge of the lugs. A small facet of matte finish is found at the tip of the sides of the case and more Zeratsu beneath. The screw down crown can be found at the three position and has the GS logo signed at the tip. The bezel is completely Zeratsu polished at the top and the sapphire crystal sits slightly above it to help protect the steel from scratches. The dial on this piece is what makes this piece the peacock since it has a texture radiating from the center that evokes the vibrant plumage of a peacock's train. And Grand Seiko describes this as a blue and purple dial, but I really just see ultramarine blue as the color. The markers are sharp and high polished rectangles with a dual marker at the 12th position. The chapter ring has an even number grade and triangles for the odd numbers in white for the GMT function with white minute ticks below. The GS logo is applied in gold tone with Grand Seiko beneath of it in white. The hour and minute hands are Dauphine style and are in silver tone with a silver toned second hand as well. The GMT hand is in gold tone with an arrow at the tip. The date window can be found at the three position and has a silver frame with a white background and black numerals. Automatic, high beat, 36,000 can be found in white at the bottom middle portion and GMT beneath it in gold tone. The case back is open and shows off the 9S86 caliber and does have the limited edition number out of 500 engraved on it as well. The movement is the in-house high beat 9S86 caliber, which functions at 36,000 beats per hour, has a 55 hour power reserve, and is accurate from losing three to gaining five seconds per day. It uses a special sprawn alloy for the mainspring and hairspring to allow it to achieve a 55 hour power reserve while beating at the high 36,000 beats per hour. The bracelet is a standard five link design. It has matte large links with Zeratsu polished smaller links. A folded clasp with the GS logo could be found at the end with no micro adjust. The Grand Seiko SBGJ261 Peacock is a US only limited edition. It is limited to only 500 pieces. It's 100 meter water resistant and can be yours for $6,800. Now for my personal opinion. This is a very, very vivid blue piece, just like its partner, the SBGK015 that was released at the same time. 
But this blue is a very rich ultramarine tone, which I really love. I like the gold GS logo and accents on this as well, and think that it adds to this one significantly. The texture of this takes a backseat to the color in my opinion, because the color just grabs you right away, although the texture is still obvious here. When you compare this piece to the original Peacock SBGJ227, you will see that they are actually identical aside from the color. So it really boils down to which tone that you prefer more. I personally think that the blue peacock has a more powerful and eye-catching look to it than the original one, but either of these could be a crazy one to pair up with different straps. I could stay up all night putting different strap combinations on these. The case fits great on my 6.5 inch wrist and is nothing new if you've already seen a 44GS GMT. While this one might have been overshadowed just a little bit by the SBG K015, don't ignore this one because it is actually a lower limited edition number than the original Peacock at 500 instead of 700. And it has a better color in my opinion than the original one, which is extremely elevated in value now. I will recommend this piece to anyone who perhaps missed out on the original Peacock or just likes a vivid blue dial with a beautiful texture. And congratulations to anyone who was able to secure one of these being at only 500 pieces total. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.